Day number five of freediving competition Vertical Blue is over and today we're going to watch three beautiful dives uh, done by uh, three uh, really strong female freedivers. Two of these dives is going to be national record attempts and one dive, uh, just a beautiful dive without national record attempt. And guys, uh, one more time, I want to remind you as always, if you want to watch all the dives, uh, check out the link in the description to the Vertical Blue website where you can pay for the subscription and watch not only the live, uh, like, uh, live streams of these dives, but also watch it in a recording. Okay, let's have a look at these three beautiful dives. Our first free diver for today uh, is Camila Javier. Uh, this is a uh, female free diver from Mexico. Uh, she's gonna attempt constant weight by fins uh, to 77 meters. Uh, and they say it is gonna be a national record. Let's have a look at her page on uh, AIDA website. So as you can see, there's not that many results in the pool disciplines. However, in the depth disciplines, uh, she is ranking number one in the no fins, number two is in the bi fins, number three in free immersion, and four in a constant weight with a monofin. So today she's gonna do 77 meters, which is significantly bigger than her previous number on AIDA national uh, ranking uh, page. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, strong deep dive for her. All right, let's have a look. Uh, she is doing relaxation in a, a traditional uh, position, a horizontal position, keeping the floating noodles under her knee. Uh, as you can see, it uh, the position varies from free diver to free diver. Uh, some prefer right uh, below their ankles. Uh, this free diver prefer uh, right under her knee. Uh, she has an uh, inflatable uh, pillow under her neck. Uh, this is again, a lot of free divers like this, I guess because it's comfortable. So she has a nose clip, but no goggles. Okay, uh, looks like the end of her relaxation breathing. She do some pecking, remove, remove the pillow, uh, turn. Yes, now she's gonna turn and uh, start her dive. Okay, um, Camilla preferred to keep your arms along the body. This is more relaxed position, uh, less streamlined. Nice kicking, not as fast as uh, if you uh, watch uh, yesterday dive of the world record. Remember how quick was Arnaud. Uh, this is much slower kicks, more uh, common uh, kicking speed really nice streamlined position. When we are thinking about streamlining position, uh, look at her fins. So her fins need to look directly up to the surface. And this is gonna be possible if the knee is gonna be slightly bended. Because imagine if her knee is gonna be straight, then the fins is gonna look this direction. So she's not bending her knee on purpose, she's just relaxing the knee joint and the knee joint uh, like naturally gonna take this position. Okay, this is the beginning of free fall, around 30 meters. So if you remember our, uh, our other videos, uh, some free divers prefer to keep kicking and this is what she's doing. So she's free falling and from time to time do a few kicks. She starts spinning a little bit around the rope uh, and now also if you uh, see your cheeks like uh, really full of air, uh, this is a sign of uh, the mouse feel. Uh, she probably charged her mouse feel um, maybe five, probably 10 meters uh, before. Uh, I, I haven't noticed it at what depth exactly. So her body looks completely balanced. I'm not sure why uh, she's spinning. Maybe she was slightly uh, unsymmetrical in the beginning and this is what initiated her spin. But overall, a really nice position. Look how streamlined the athlete, right? So this part is really uh, vertical and this part is really vertical. Only the knee slightly bended. All right, so she's keeping her eyes open to see the rope. Again, this is a more like personal preference. So seven meters away, uh, 
probably somewhere here she's going to hear her alarm uh, and she's uh, ready to grab the tech. Okay, this is a stopper. Uh, her lanyards uh, almost reach the stopper. She grabbed the rope above the stopper and here she's grabbing the tech. She's going to put the tech. Uh, so uh, at this moment she's keeping uh, in her arms. Oh no, she attached it on the hips. And now she, uh, she starts her dive with the arms along the body. But now she bring it in a more streamlined position and start kicking uh, faster, but as not as fast as a uh, yesterday dive. Um, really nice kicking. Uh, you see her upper body moving a little bit, but this is natural. Uh, it's almost impossible to avoid it, but the movement starting from your hips. Some freedivers criticizing the movement from the hips, but it doesn't make any sense because the movement should start from the hips. So you see her hips uh, moving. This is what initiate the kick and then the legs uh, uh, join this movement. So far is perfect streamlined position. The legs uh, doing their job. Uh, the technique stayed the same. First safety diver at 30 meters. Uh, second uh, safety diver at 25 meters, 26. Uh, still nice, really nice technique almost without any change be, uh, between uh, beginning of your ascent and uh, the last 20 meters. Really nice effective kicking technique. Okay, now she do the arm stroke because she become a more positive buoyant. Uh, she's not gonna pull the rope because this is prohibited by the rules. If you do constant weight with a monofin or bifin, you're not allowed to pull the rope. However, she's uh, keeping this arm like above, ready as soon as she breaks the surface, she's going to grab the rope immediately. Boom, and she grabs it. She starts to exhale slightly before the surface, as you uh, probably noticed. This is again what uh, most of the freedivers do. Okay, now she removed the nose clip. She smiles and show okay. Uh, the smiling is not part of the surface protocol, but it's really nice when freedivers do it. It uh, shows that the dive fall was well within the limits. Okay, and uh, she even laughing. Okay, uh, she also supposed to show the tech, right? Uh, she show it. Okay, now the judge is gonna give her a white card. We know already that this is a white card dive. And probably this is a national record, though I'm not sure they have a signed national record here. But I'm not sure if, if, if it was a national record attempt or not. Okay, congratulations to uh, Free Diver with a really successful dive. Uh, hopefully, we're going to see her again during this competition with more amazing dives. Okay, and the second diver for today is Fatima Korok. Uh, hopefully, I pronounced uh, it correctly. Uh, this is a, a female free diver from Hungary, I think. Uh, so she's planning to do a free immersion dive uh, to 96 meters and this is going to be national record attempt. So before we're going to watch her dive, uh, let's have a quick look at her AIDA uh, ranking page. So uh, same as previous free diver, not that many records in a pool disciplines. However, in a, a depth disciplines, she is uh, ranking number one uh, on the national level. Uh, her previous free immersion dive was 89 uh, meters and this time it's going to be a big step up to 96 meters. Okay, let's have a look at her dive. So she's doing relaxation breathing, uh, having the pillow under her neck, dive computer we can see right here, uh, nose clip, uh, no fluid uh, goggles already start her dive and before she started the dive let's have a stop here so as you notice like she already turned face down but didn't start dive immediately but wait for one or two seconds and some free divers do it this is a kind of help them to get the right mindset just like relax right from the beginning before they start working hard through this positive uh, buoyancy in the first 10-15 meters. This is really nice, uh, this is really interesting technique. I will explain in a second. 
So normally when free divers do free immersion dive, they start the pool above the head and then they pull the rope and they release the rope somewhere in the waist area. But Fatima, she's grabbing the rope, pulling somewhere until her middle chest and then release. Honestly, I don't remember that I saw this before. Okay, and now a little bit more standard. So now she is a 16 meter deep and now as you can see she grabbing here and then she pulling all the way down, right? So uh, I don't know why she did at the beginning uh, what she did. Probably uh, it helped her to quickly over uh, pass this positive buoyancy. And now since she is already like 20 meter deep, she's now even start to include some gliding between her pools. Look, she pull, glide a little bit, pull, glide a little bit and the deeper she is going to be the less is going to be pulling and more is going to be gliding uh, 35 meter deep uh, really looks relaxed 40 meter deep now it's like i said more traditional pulling all the way down to your waistline okay 50 meters still pulling okay this was probably the last pull about 50 meters and now she's gonna start probably just free falling. Okay. She's gonna stay close to the rope. As you can see, the rope is between her uh, left arm and her torso. And I think this is uh, helping her to like, coordinate uh, her position um, according to the line, right? So she doesn't need to open her eyes and check. Okay, uh, you can see uh, maybe not the most streamlined leg position, but freedivers always balance between uh, absolute relaxation and absolute streamlining, right? So you should find uh, the gold middle. So uh, in her case, now she bring the legs a little bit closer, uh, arms really relax natural position she's not uh, touching her fingers or something like some free divers do okay 10 meters to go uh, we see some uh, equalization struggling here i guess no no she looks good yeah uh, like trying to squeeze the rest of the air in her mouse and nozzle cavity for equalization Remember, she is almost 90 meter deep, so uh, have really little air in her mouse and nasal cavity. Okay, she reached the stopper, grab the stopper, grab the tech. She's gonna put her tech uh, somewhere on her neck weight. <laughs> and she started doing the same technique again. I would say for sure, I don't remember that some high level athletes doing this before. I'm not watching the whole, whole competition all the time, but I don't remember. So as you can see, oh, you see her, uh, she starts her pull here and finishing somewhere here. So like what she can do, she can do like kind of like triceps extension, like because now it's like mainly her lats, uh, the muscles which are working to pull her up to this position. And later it can be the triceps extension but for whatever reason she decided not to include this in her technique i mean obviously it is her choice it's not like she don't know how to do it so in this case uh, she can do more pulls uh, it's like a more like higher frequency but again it's not that common okay now there is a little bit uh, like tiny gliding between pools She's still a uh, really negative buoyant. Um, I think the pools became, a, no, no, still, uh, still uh, unusual technique, unorthodox technique, let's put it this way. But looks, she looks nice. Uh, the technique looks the same, uh, not affected. So let's see if she's gonna pull all the way up like this. Okay, first safety diver around 36 meters. Okay. 
Now she have a little bit more gliding. Okay, and now it become a little bit more traditional. Okay, look. So now she's grabbing the rope here and uh, before she was releasing somewhere on this level, but now she do like also like triceps extension and she pull, uh, like pulling also in this part. So now this is a little bit more traditional way. Before it was something unorthodox. And now she obviously can glide longer because she uh, have uh, more like a neutral or more, maybe even positive buoyancy at this moment. Still looks relaxed, not in a rush, good sign. I mean, we know that it's gonna be white cars, uh, but uh, just interesting to see how she's gonna make the dive. And floating up really uh, slowly, reach the surface, remove the nose clip. Uh, not rushing with the surface protocol at all. Show okay sign, smiling. Okay, this is a second dive with a smile, uh, nice sign. And also she's gonna show now uh, her tech. Or maybe she already did it and I miss it. Yeah, probably, yeah, yeah, she probably already did it. I just miss it. Okay, good job. Really nice dive by Fatima. Um, was pleasure to watch. I watched her a few, like I watched some of her dives uh, before and always she executes really good technique, really nice technique. So yeah, congratulations with a uh, new national record. Uh, it is the middle of the competition. So maybe she's gonna surprise us even with more national records. So power to her, really nice dives. Uh, congratulations and good luck in a future dives. Diver number three for today in Shante Gallardo. Shante Gallardo. Uh, this is a free diver from the United States. Uh, she's going to do free immersion attempt to 87 meters. And this is going to be uh, the national record for the United States. Uh, before we continue, uh, let's have a look at her AIDA page. Uh, same as other free divers for today. Uh, not that many records in the pool disciplines. Uh, however, as you can see in the depth disciplines, she's pretty strong, especially in a constant weight by fins. She's number one uh, national ranking and uh, same national ranking number one in a free immersion. Uh, the last free immersion dive, I guess, uh, maybe was even this year. So it was 85 and uh, now it's going to be 87. So let's have a look. So she's doing her relaxation breathing in a sitting position. So previous athletes was in a horizontal position, but some free divers prefer this kind of vertical position. The benefits of this position, it's maybe less relaxed position, but this is more like a consistent position because uh, lying on the back is possible when the water condition is like this, like really uh, like a surface is really calm. But if it is a bit choppy, then lying on the back can be a challenge. And in this position, you can do your relaxation breathing, your preparation in any condition. This is why some free divers prefer because they uh, constantly do uh, the same technique. And this is what helping them to get into the zone and relax even further. So probably this is a reason, maybe not. Uh, just a small detail. Uh, do you see this small hole? Some free divers have it in the hood. Uh, this is gonna allow the water go in and uh, this is how you avoid the uh, squeeze. So some free divers who doesn't have a, a hole, they just like put some water when they start the dives. Okay, no fluid goggles, just a nose clip and the neck weight. Okay, start doing packing. Uh, here is computer. Uh, finish with packing almost and start the dive. And what we see probably for the first time, uh, we see the weight belt. Uh, if you done free diving course, most likely on your free diving course, he was using the weight belt. However, a lot of athletes, uh, experienced athletes prefer to have only the neck weight. However, if your body uh, type, if your body composition require more weights, then to have a really heavy neck weight, maybe 
not that comfortable and this is why some free divers like to put a few weights also on a weight belt so it is a in her case it's combination of the weight belt with a couple of uh, weights small weights and the neck weight strong strong pulls and this is what uh, traditionally how traditionally free immersion looks like it's like a grabbing the rope uh, further and then just pulling all the way down towards your hips so this is like more traditional really nice strong pull which are bringing the free diver already to 25 meters she keep pulling already 30 meters deep the dive time 30 seconds uh, she's slightly slower than one meters per second uh, because free immersion is uh, usually slowest technique 40 meters uh, she keep pulling she keep pulling okay she even now 50 meters and keep pulling okay this was probably her last pull and now just free fall position okay now extra benefit of having the weight belt now she is also like putting her thumbs under the weight belt and this is going to give her like more streamlined and in the same time relaxed position by the way she using the lanyard attached to her ankles and this is uh, also what the free divers like for this technique because if you use it for uh, on the wrist uh, sometimes it get messed around when you're trying to grab the rope and instead you're grabbing your lanyard so this is why for free immersion uh, quite common you see free divers use the wrist on the ankle or on the uh, on a waist like waist lanyard okay now it's free falling streamline also uh, the rope be uh, between the arms and the body 10 meters away from her desirable depths probably a few meters away she's going to have alarm looks like struggling a little bit with equalization like tackling her, ch uh, her chin in to just squeeze all of this air in her mouth like squeeze it as much as possible because there is a really little air at this moment but she reached the uh, stopper grab the hood put uh, grab the tech put it under her hood and start her uh, ascent and again like really fast quick movement but uh, compared to the previous diver uh, this is more traditional when she's grabbing uh, further away and pulling all the way down so it includes it gonna like it's gonna create some rotation naturally um, again some free divers saying you should move only up like not rotating but this is natural this is a how our body operates if you're going to try to grab it further it's going to be some rotation so she's doing good job uh, staying in a streamlined position uh, technique looks unaffected by the waste product accumulation at least so far she is already 45 meter deep i think she start now uh, pulling a little bit less aggressive she's still negative buoyant so she still need to work hard it's not time to relax nice strong pulls okay 30 meter deep safety first safety divers already protecting her not doing safety not protecting okay second safety diver she's 20 meters away from the surface mm, in my opinion looks fresh at this moment um, no like strange movement everything looks absolutely the same compared to beginning of your ascent and now she's floating to the surface because now she's a positive buoyant and grab the rope doing your recovery breathing removing the nose clip showing okay for the judge and this is going to be the white card as well really nice dive as well uh, as you can see the technique can vary from diver to diver even on the elite level uh, so but still uh, beautiful both of these free diver who both do a free immersion technique looks nice and beautiful on the surface and successfully dive uh, to their desirable depths to the national records okay uh, congratulations for uh, Chante and I uh, wish you all the best in your future dives during this competition and during uh, the rest of your free diving career okay really nice dives
This is it for today. If you haven't seen my previous reaction video of the day number four, check out uh, this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click here.